All right, this is day one million of making a name for myself, and uh, this is going to be a good one today. I know I only have about six or seven minutes to talk, but this is going to be um, probably the the biggest week or month of my life up to this point, and I don't know how else to put it. Like, there's a, a series of events that have led me to this point, most of which is just me accepting a calling from God, Him preparing me, and trying to inspire me to have faith, and so... Um, what I'll say first is that faith is nothing that you can really see. It's about everything you can hope for, if that makes sense. I'm sure it does not make sense. (laughs) Let me explain. So God always gives you a manifestation of himself or his goodness or his plan or whatever. He, He shows himself to you in small ways before he asks you to do something. He will never ask you to have faith blindly. Um, he will never ask you to do something without you having had an experience beforehand where you where you can ba- you can like base this faith off of faith is the same as having the confidence to walk forward it's not it has nothing to do with, to do with sight it's nothing you can see it's about everything in your heart and your conviction and so um without any like logical reason i have this conviction this faith based on my past experiences that God is leading me to do something amazing, something great. And before I can get into too much of that, um, I really just have to have faith and hope because I don't know what's coming. I don't know exactly what God has planned for me, but I know what he's done for me in the past. And so that's enough for me to keep going forward. So right now in my life, I'm at this crossroad, not like a crossroad. I'm at this difficult point where God has basically asked me to make this my effort full time of like producing content and cultivating my ideas, sharing them with people. So I'm currently making YouTube videos, making Instagram posts, TikTok posts, Facebook posts, um, YouTube videos, podcasts, and my money is running low. It, it just is. I don't make any money, obviously, because I have like, I have like, uh, I think 20 subscribers on YouTube, 70 followers, 80 followers on TikTok, and like a, a few hundred on Instagram. Um, and I'm seeing no traction, no positive, like I'm seeing positive trends upward, but like relative to what I, what I am hoping for, it's not really much, but uh, anyways, at this point, my money's running low. I'm starting school soon, and I have no money left after tuition. Uh, that will be paid, and then that'll be it. My money will be out, and I, I'll still have to pay rent. I'll still have to buy food and stuff like that. But the reason why I'm not freaking out, the reason why I sound so confident in my position right now is because God has told me in my heart not to worry about finances. He told me that he'll take care of it. And my parents have a hard time with this, understandably, because they have to provide for me in the case that I fail. Um, They're my safety net. And if I fail, I don't have to take all the the punishment and the repercussions. They're going to have to suffer a lot to try and put me through school and to help me out in life. That's why this is such a, a hard and difficult experience, because it's really trying and testing all of our faith in my family at this moment. But... I've remained firm in the fact that I know God has spoken to me. I know that he's taught me things and I know he's preparing me. And so part of this preparation is that I just got to keep doing everything I know to do. And that's to continue working out, continue eating, eating right, to continue cultivating my ideas and studying and doing research. And uh, most of all, speaking my mind and speaking my intentions into reality. Because if I don't acknowledge what God has done for me, what he's doing, then it will mean nothing. Nothing that God has done for me is meant for me to just keep to myself. So that's a lot of rambling, and I'm sure not everyone agrees with the path that I'm on right now. But I'm making this video in hopes that it will pay dividends in the future. I'll be able to look at this and see that my faith paid off. And this is really the experience of my life where I'm going to either prove to myself that God is real or I'm going to prove to myself that he's not. Because whatever is guiding me, whatever is leading me right now, is taking me on a path where it's forcing me to choose and I either have to choose between financial stability and everything that makes sense in our in the parameters of our society, right? Go to school, get get a degree, go get a career and have a stable income. That makes sense. But what I'm what I'm feeling inspired to do right now is the opposite, is to not do that and to do uh what I feel and what I think. And that's like um, when you go on your own and you trailblaze, you have no guarantee of a return on investment of your time and then your effort. So this is just me declaring that I believe and stand by God and I hope that he stands by me. And so I'm going to continue forward. But um, I want everyone listening to really dig deep and to discover what it is that God wants you to do. 
and to not have uh, any reservations against God. To do whatever it is that He has put in your heart and to do it because you want to do it and not for any other reason. If you live your life based on what other people think you should do, I don't really believe you'll ever be happy. But anyways, uh, with the remaining time I have left, I want to explain the work that I'm doing. So uh, I've, been, I've been feeling shoulder tightness because I'm increasing my volume of bench press every week. And so to kind of improve, I guess they call it thoracic extension or like your thoracic whatever is involved with your shoulder blades and your retractive ability. I don't know what I'm just making up terms right now, but I'm doing the pressing motion to kind of work my shoulders and get them fatigued prematurely. And then I'm doing the um, the front squat because you have to keep your elbows locked in that in that upright position. And that also strains the, the back of your shoulders as well. And uh, whatever muscles right under your armpits. So it actually like it it was it was making my my shoulders burn this workout it was actually a super good workout um to fatigue them on the overhead press and then to immediately go into a squat and um i I missed it on the rdls but there was a slide where i added the text saying to retract the shoulder blades or to relax them so i noticed that because the weight was getting heavier i was i was shrugging my shoulders up even before i did the motion before i like lowered the weight and lifted it and I realized that maybe I would get more benefit if I drop my shoulders and force them down, but then still retract my shoulder blades. I thought it would put extra tension and um, increase the benefit and the the work that was done on my on my uh, back and shoulders. Um, yeah, I understand as well. I need to be making longer videos. The six minute video is just not cutting it when it comes to sharing my ideas. I know it's short and concise, and I know some people prefer that, but I really do think that we're being conditioned. To, um, overly to to um to watch short videos and short content and it's shortening our attention span and we're forgetting we're forgetting about god and i i don't understand i guess how people don't see that correlation but i'm trying to i want to influence people to open their minds to longer exposure to ideas than just a few seconds or a few minutes if you can sit and listen to something for 30 minutes and learn something like learn multiple things throughout that whole process that's a good indication that you'd be able to connect with God on a deep and personal level. So I want to start making longer videos and I'll do my best to do that. Uh, I think the short video form is, is the format is kind of lazy of, of me to do. And it just makes it easier for me to make more videos and make more content. But that's just not the point. I don't think so. So anyways, just some extra thoughts and I'm going to log off now and see you guys later.